everyone welcome back to my channel um so the title of this video is um they found out that you are a two what two-way advocate is um Just like you, I'm a, um, a human being, as a human beings, um, you know, you you interact with other human beings and people ask questions about your personal life. Um, I have learned, especially at work, uh, I, I do nothing. That's my easiest answer. Um, those who really know, they can tell, because I have pictures of my martial arts. Nothing major, like, you know, maybe a picture of a tournament or something of that nature. Um, and people know, knows. Um, but for the most part, I don't tell people what my private life is. Uh, work. It's, it's just none, none of their business. I don't follow anybody. I don't allow them. If they Google me, they Google me. If they watch my channel, which is uh, what a former boss told me, it's a public thing. BS piece of crap. Um, anyway, just me. Just mad uh, over a person who violated my human rights. Uh, but anyway, um, a lot of people like, what's 2A? You know, 2A. And then, like, especially because I'm, I'm trying to date again, right? So people are like, 2A, like, oh, 2A. You know, like, oh, you, you deal with guns. So they instantly get in this nonsense mindset that, oh, you have guns. Oh, okay. You must be a a bad person. Um, and I, you know, I said to this one chick, like, I, every person have the right to protect yourself. I'm like, what do you do to protect yourself? And she said nothing. And I'm like, huh. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Um, ladies, listen to me. Don't get in a situation where you getting beaten, beaten down like a dog, and then you decide you you want protection. If you depend on cops to protect you, you you wasting your time. They good for taking uh, reports, and and for you to scare a person off if they are already there that's that is my interaction with cops i'm not knocking cops organizations i'm just my history with calling cops and seeing them do absolutely nothing um but we need them we we need their service and what they do so just anybody have any doubt i'm i'm i'm, I'm for uh, police um, but I'm also for I'm also against racial profiling too but anyway when people find out 2A they're like oh so you deal with guns and then they look at me different like I'm not going around shooting people I mean how can I even get the job I'm getting if I have a record so you know, I just I just don't tell anybody. Those who need to know, they know. Those who don't, it's none of their business. But you know, if it happened, anybody find my channel, trust me, I am a law abiding citizen that goes to work, do martial arts, and do it all over again. And I play video games on weekends. That is as boring as a life can get but it's law abiding but I am passionate about self defense because I am a martial artist um, so naturally if 
I'm going to be self-defense with my hands, I want to be self-defense with weapons too. Uh, that's just a, a, a natural evolution to martial, you know, to martial arts is be, you know, um, you know, be able to protect myself in all aspects. So I'm all for that. Um, so, you know, I, you know, I, if those who, if they ask my opinion, I ask them why. Um, some people say, oh, guns are too dangerous. And you know what? You're absolutely right. Guns are dangerous. Guns are extremely dangerous. Less lethal weapons are extremely dangerous. Getting shot with anything that's projectile to you is very dangerous. It's, it is a very dangerous situation. Um, that's why you have to understand the severity of the situation and you try to avoid it. Now, if you're a person flashing guns on Facebook because you're a 19 year old and you think it's cool while you smoke your Swiss and Sweets and black and mouths of marijuana, go ahead and do that. But I'm rest assured, everybody gonna see that. So while you flashing for, for notoriety, what you put online lasts forever. So when you get your life together 20 years later and you discover Jesus, don't be surprised somebody uh, will find some information uh, from 20 years from 20 years um, ago on what you did when you were 19. Now you're a 39 year old person with three kids. <laughs> So with that being said, it's it's a um, it's a careful thing. I mean, I take self-defense very responsible. Even when I've just had less lethal, I'm like, yo, this is this is nothing to play with. I'm I'm doing this just for self-preservation. Nothing more, nothing less. And now I add actual guns. It's just the same. And it's all about self-preservation. And if I can walk away, it is much better than, you know, deterring with a gun. You have to use common sense in this matter that you got to avoid this drama at all costs. And this is a scenario where guns can ca actually can backfire on you. Let's say real realistic situation, a baby mama. Um, you got in a fight because you're trying to see your kid and such and such, right? She knows that you carry guns because you, she knows you better than anything. That person can say, hey, I felt threatened for my life. I felt threatened for my life that he was going to use his guns. And sure enough, when people hear guns or they hear domestic violence, people assume that they assume the worst that you're a person that 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 use guns for for violence. And don't be surprised if somebody tries to do that. It's very possible. That's why you gotta have your ducks in a row, uh, do everything legal. Um, gun insurance, um, I, 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 you know, my CCW, um, I'm, I'm working with the law, you know, you gotta have all that in a row just in case somebody wants to say that you was a threat and harm. And I, I have literally had someone say, oh, I was fearful for a life because of my background. My background is martial arts. That's what I do. But by no means I go out there and looking for a fight. I haven't physically outside of work wise, I haven't fought in eight, seven years. Now work wise, unfortunately with the nature of my work, I've had Consumers, clients have tried to attack me and I defended myself. Uh, but even then, I, I, I couldn't even do what 
that I'm really trained to do. I just did what with the legal training of that organization. So even then, I'm like, yo, I can't. Somebody said, won't you slam them and put them to the gap? That's not what I'm going to do. You're not going to have me, you know, with some excessive force charges. So in a way, all I'm saying is, if people ask and they have questions, that is the time where you can kind of explain, well, yes, I, I do carry guns. Um, this is the reason why I carry. Um, and any person with good common sense will understand after explaining to it. And then for some people, um, I just say, hey, I do church security. And then that ends all type of, oh, okay. For some reason, that just ends, you know, any doubt. But um, the most time I ask them, you know, have you ever shot a gun? And most of the answer is no. Up till a month ago, I didn't shoot a gun. I, six weeks ago, I never shot a gun. I've had less lethal shot that many times, but I just never had a gun. I felt like I never needed it. Um, and then I got a situation I did. And then with that gave me education. Um, and you know, sometimes you have to educate yourself before you make decisions. And in this generation, that's not the case. They just make decisions and don't educate themselves. So I'm like, I'm, I'm, you know, this is the reason why this is my track record. I've never physically done anything. You can, you know, if in a dating situation, I'm like, you can even Google. I'm like, I have a YouTube channel, which most people don't even know I have. Um, and if, you know, anybody who know me outside of this understand I am, you know, law, law abiding and a safe individual and I'm my father of one. So safety is always my concern. I am always trying to be safe because I understand through martial arts and through just getting older is that life is precious. People are too reckless with trying to end people's lives because once you do that, you can't get that, um, sorry, my hair getting hot. You can't get that uh, life back. Um, and then also what I spiritually, I, what I spiritually believe uh, that you have to answer for that. If it's not self-defense, you gotta answer to God for that life. Um, and, um, you got, you know, be mindful of that. So, um, I'm going to tell you actually a true gun story, um, in my family and, and I'm going to do it, um, after this video. So I won't do like a 22 minute video, but, um, uh, thank you, uh, for joining, um, join me for this session and listen for the second half.